Hey guys, this video, just like the previous one, is part of a click course that I recorded a long time ago, but the content still is up to date, okay? If you're starting with Click, it's a great video and uh, I will post more content like this very soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and let me know if you like it or not in the comment section, all right? See you in the next videos. Now that we already know the basics of the charts, the sheets and everything, we'll be using another data set, which is this one. So you can enter Kaggle, or you can also use the data set that is here on the link below, because I have filtered uh, only 2020 and 2021 from here, but the original data set has values since 2016. We don't need that. We can work with two years, so we'll be using 2020 and 2021. If you prefer to use the original, you can click here. The structure of the file is the same, but now let's go back to work. So let's go here back and click. I will close this one. Let's create a new app and I will call it US Accidents. Let's now open the app. This is the original file and this is the file where we have only 2020 and 2021. It's a CSV and I will drop it in here. Click already detected the column names and everything. But I want you to notice some things that are very important here. Look at our start and end date. They have this format, so we don't have a column for year, months and days. Which is fine, we can create that and we will do so later on. We also have to pay attention on the latitude and longitude. This will be used to plot the accidents on the map. And notice that this is not being treated as a number. Depending on your settings in your computer, this will be interpreted as a number, and in other cases, such as mine, this will be interpreted as a value, like a text. So this point here needs to be replaced by a comma, and we will do so in the next steps. Let's just take a look at the column names. So we have the time of the accidents, the location, some descriptions, the street name and the number, the side of the street, if it was right or left, the city where it occurred, the county, state, zip code, country, time zone, temperature in Fahrenheit, wind chill, humidity, pressure. This data is not available for all records, but most of them can be analyzed with these details. We also have wind direction, wind speed, precipitation, weather condition, and some other details here. But let's go to what matters. Let's click here, next, and load the data set. In my computer, it took four minutes, but it depends a lot on your configuration. Now let's click here and close. Now that we are in the analyze section, we can click here to edit the page and add the charts. One point I forgot to mention is that we also have an ID for each record. So this column, the ID, is unique. So each one of these accidents had a unique identifier. We can count this to know how many accidents we have in the selection, okay? With that in mind, let's start with the basics by knowing how many records we have. So first I will click here on charts and I will bring a KPI to count how many IDs we have. So I will add as a measure the ID column, which is right here, and count how many IDs we have. We have 2.1 million records, and now I will add here the bar chart to know how many accidents by state we have. So our measure will still be our ID, counting how many IDs we have, and our detail here in the dimension will be the state. So clicking here, I will start typing state to find the column. Now clicking here, I know that California has much more records than other states. Now let's analyze the time series of this data set. And since we don't have the year, month and day columns, we could be using the expressions in the charts. Let me show you how it would be, but it's much better to have the column created in the data set. Let's add here a line chart and the height of the line, which is our measure, will be the count of IDs again. And the detail, 
will be the date and we need to decide if we want to attack the year, the month or what kind of dimension we want to, to analyze. In our case, let's click here to explore what we have. In some cases, depending on the way that it's set up, we'll, click will automatically detect some columns with certain formats. So as you can see here, the end time was detected as a date, but this will not always happen, okay? Let's go down to see our start date. Same thing here, so it's already detected as a date time. So let's just scroll down and find the year column right here. Let's click here. And okay, we now know that 2021 has more records than the previous year. This line chart already has a dimension and a measure. If we want to convert this to a bar chart, we can click here, drag it on this chart, and we need to place it like this, like taking the entire chart. Otherwise, if I put it like aside, we'll create a new chart. But if, if we do it like that, we can convert this to a bar chart that we can see like that. In this case, it's uh, horizontal. But going back here to the appearance, presentation, we can make it vertical and we can now see it much better depending on what we want.